Uh, Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Sean Jordan. He's facing Sheck Congo at UFC 149. You know, I asked him if he felt he was a gatekeeper. He wouldn't really answer that question, but <laughs> you see him as quite a challenge, yes? Yeah, absolutely. I think Sheck Congo is a great fighter. He's a great challenge. Um, great big step up for me in uh, competition. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so what was the deal when you got the call? How excited were you and, and how ready were you? Uh, I was totally excited. They called me like at 1 in the morning. I was half asleep. Uh, my manager calls me, hey, they got a fight for you. Uh, you want to fight Sheck Congo? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Calling back in the morning, hey, did I dream that or did you really call me? So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. You know, it's, a, it's a good opportunity for me. And so which coach called you? No, my manager did. Oh, your manager Yeah, Robert Rivetta. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about your training coming into this. Who do you work with to prepare for somebody as leggy and lengthy as him? Well, Travis Brown is actually my uh, my main training partner. And, you know, he's 6'7", big old, big old boy, big old Hawaiian boy. Uh, <laughs> and hits hard. So a uh, great training partner. He works hard and pushes me. So uh, I had, you know, I had, I had about four weeks to get, get ready for it. So and Travis, Travis took it all out of me for the four weeks. Well, and certainly Travis has his own experience experience with Congo so was there any inside information he gave you absolutely you know um, he just just the fact that he competed against him before it makes you feel a little better you know he knows what to do to me to make me fight back and compete because that's similar to what Chex gonna do um, but you know I still gotta go there and fight you know Chex a savvy guy he's been around he's fought everyone so he knows what's going on so now it's not your first fight in the UFC but do you still feel that there's um, a little bit of a not a stigma of the strike force fighters but that you guys have a little bit more to prove when you come over to the UFC uh, you know, my uh, my stint in strike force is real, real quick. I fought two fights in about four months, and then I got moved over. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, we may have to earn our keep a little bit more. Um, but you know, we're here to fight, so yeah, we're in the UFC now. We know we're not strike force fighters anymore. So now we have to you know prepare ourselves and uh, start fighting you know the best of the best. And, and check. Well, yeah, exactly. And I was gonna say, what do you make of the matchup? Because people know that he didn't obviously didn't have a, a lot of success against Mark Hunt. You're not built exactly like Mark, but you stylistically Similar. could. Yeah, yeah. So how do you make of the matchup and strategy for you in, in beating Jeff? Oh, uh, you know the funny thing, it's hard to compare us, uh, compare fighters with other fighters in general, um, especially in the heavyweight division. Everyone's so big and so strong. We all hit so hard that it takes one punch. Now, Mark is a, is a sledgehammer, a boy can hit, and he's a, you know, cabbage, so they, he can throw some, throw some bombs at people, but, um, you know, it's different, and it's different fighting styles, and, again, he fought a shorter guy, so now Czech has some experience with that, and he's going to adjust to that. It's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm excited for it. It's going to be fun. I think, I think we'll go out there and put a good show on. Well, you know, I've been here in Calgary for almost a week now, and the crowd is, is pretty feisty. I was over at Stampede, and they're fired up. I think it's going to be a good night. Absolutely. They are. They are feisty. Uh, <laughs> I got some, some tweets after I took the fight. I was like, ooh, the fans are a little hot. Well, yeah, because they're, I mean, they're a little mad that you're not Big Nog. You oh, know that. I totally understand. I'm a little mad that I'm not Big Nog. Uh, <laughs> Nick is one of my favorite fighters, and uh, just watching that guy compete is just, it makes you understand, makes you really appreciate it, because he, he loves to fight. Yeah. That man doesn't have to fight no more anymore. No. He just loves to fight. He loves to compete. So, yeah, it just it's great to see him. And it is a shame that he wasn't able to compete. But, you know, they put a bunch of young guns up, up on this card, and it's going to be a good show for the, uh, the Canadians. I think so, too. Good luck to you. Thanks for talking. Thanks. I'm Sean Jordan. You're watching MMA Heat. <laughs>